Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm JD, and today we have another easy Minecraft tutorial. In this episode, we are looking at the Sword Enchantment Guide. The sword, of course, is the definitive weapon. Most people choose to have a sword, although some people like to have an axe, but the sword is a bit faster. But we're going to look at all of the enchantments, including one for Java that is not available on Bedrock. So, first of all, let's see what we can get with the enchantment table. And, well, we got an Unbreaking 3, Bane of Ar Arthropods 5 sword. Eh, I think this is okay. <laughs> I'm not 100% satisfied with that. But let's take a look at what enchantments we can get. Now... There are a total of nine enchantments, uh, nine for Java, only eight for Bedrock. Uh, I will demonstrate, I'll, I'll talk about each one in turn. So, first of all, Fire Aspect. Now, Fire Aspect is an interesting one. We can put this on, let's put this on here. Let me find it in here. There it is. It goes up to two. And this makes your sword really, really good at starting fires. See? It even cooks the meat. Isn't that interesting? Now, the next one. Let's take a look over here. We have looting. Now, looting is really useful. Now let's put that on here. Find the looting. There it is. It goes up to three. Now looting increases mob drops. So when you are fighting any hostile mobs, it will increase what they drop. Uh, you'll get better stuff from them. Next up is unbreaking. Now this is a pretty standard enchantment. Unbreaking, of course, as we have seen in the past... Unbreaking means that your sword or your weapon or your tool will wear out more slowly. And of course it goes up to three. Now we have a family of enchantments here. Sharpness, Smite, and Bane of Arthropods. So I think with this sword we're going to put on Sharpness. And it goes up to five. So there we go. This one has Bane of Arthropods 5. Now what is the difference between these three? Well, we'll go through them one at a time. But uh, first of all, sharpness increases damage to any sword. That's it. Next, smite. This increases damage to any undead mobs. That includes skeletons, zombies, zombie pigmen, and so on. Now, these are mutually exclusive. You cannot have Sharpness and Smite on the same sword. And then, Bane of Arthropods, which is what this one is. A Bane of Arthropods is similar to Smite in that, well, it has a special kind of, I guess you can say, target. A Bane of Arthropods is an enchantment that increases damage to Arthropods. That includes spiders, cave spiders, bees, silverfish, and endermites. But nothing else. So of these three, I would say sharpness is the most useful. It increases damage to everything. So there you go. All three of these are mutually exclusive. You can only have one on a sword. Next up is knockback. Now this one... No, I'm, I think the jury is out on whether this is a useful or really good enchantment. But Knockback, which goes up to two, it pushes your target back. So they go flying backwards. So yeah, there's that. And then we have Mending. Now Mending, of course, is very well known. We've gone through this so many times. Mending 
makes it so that your tool or weapon will repair itself when you are collecting XP, as long as you're holding on to that weapon. So this is the strongest sword you can have in Bedrock right now. So let me just hover over it. We have Fire Aspect 2, Looting 3, Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, Mending 1. That is probably the best sword you can get in Bedrock. However, there is one more enchantment. As you can see, there's no book. This is called Sweeping Edge. Now, it is Java only. And what it does is... Well, there's a sweeping motion for a sword, right? Well, not in Bedrock. Uh, sweeping allows you to hit multiple mobs at one time, as long as they're close by. Now, this is especially useful in mob farms. Very useful. Sweeping Edge increases the damage when you are using the sweeping motion. And that's, that's about it. So, Java players, you're lucky. You have this. I would love to have this, especially with mob farms. Absolutely. So, this is the best. Let me just see. We have a llama. Now, llamas are kind of strong, aren't they? What happens if I attack with this? And boom. Boom. Two hits. Not bad. All right, so let's get back up here and we're done. And those are the enchantments for the sword. So what I'd like you to let me know is, do you play Java or Bedrock? And do you like Sweeping Edge? I wish I had it. Yes. So let me know what you think. Uh, what are your favorite enchantments? Do you like sharpness, smite, or bane of arthropods? I bet your answer is sharpness, isn't it? I bet it is. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you think. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing some more easy Minecraft tutorials, and there's a creeper. <laughs> it died. All right, if you're interested in seeing some more easy Minecraft tutorials, as well as my Let's Plays, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.